Hey guys, I hope you all enjoy doing MERV today and that you are not too sore tomorrow. Okay, so for tomorrow, we're going to be doing a workout that consists of deadlifts, some core work, and burpees, and followed by some body armor for your glutes. Mike will take you through all of that in a minute. So I'll take you through the warm up. Your warm up is going to be three rounds of the following movements. We're going to start off with good mornings, it's unweighted. So from here, hinge at the hips, squeeze your glutes coming up. You're doing 20 of these. After that, you're going to do 10 sit-ups. Okay. Reach overhead, touch on the opposite side of the toes. Otherwise, you can do it with your knees up. After that, you're doing five down-ups to prepare you for your burpees. High plank. Stand up. And that's your warm up for tomorrow. Alright guys, tomorrow's workout we'll be focusing a little bit on the hammies, the glutes and the lower back. Okay, and then some core and then burpees. Alright, we're trying not to fry the quads and the pecs because I know you guys are probably going to be very tired tomorrow. Alright, so we're going to start the imam, uh, the twin and the imam. Our first minute is going to be 20 double dumbbell or kettlebell deadlifts. Alright, so if you have two, you're lucky. Deadlift, only one head of the dumbbell has to touch the floor and squeeze your bum at the top. Alright, you need 20 reps of that. If you only have one dumbbell, you do 10 reps on the one arm and then 10, rep, 10 reps on the other arm. Alright, and then if you have a barbell, you can use a barbell. You are going to load your barbell with 60 and 40, so 60 for the guys, 40 for the girls, and then uh, also, you're going to do 20 reps, right? Um, if you don't have any equipment, so the no equipment version, you're going to do single leg Romanian deadlifts, right? So, over there. Ten on the one arm, and ten on the other, sorry, ten on the one leg, ten on the other leg. You can grab a weight, uh, an odd object, a bag, a water bottle, and hold it like this and you can do your deadlifts like that all right then on the second minute we have 20 alternating leg v-ups okay so you don't need any equipment for that so there's no alternative to this for the no equipment workout to uh, alternating leg v-up so you're only going to lift one leg at a time all right so there all right so 10 per leg if that's too hard, you're going to do tuck-ups. You guys know, you just bend your knee instead of a straight knee. So you're there, bend your knee, and bend the knee, and down. Alright. Okay, minute number three, you guys are doing lateral burpees over the dumbbell or over your barbell. Okay, so dumbbell on the floor, down, up and make sure you jump over your dumbbell. And then you go for your next burpee. Alright, you guys are doing how many of those? Oh, that's minute number three, and you guys are doing max reps. Okay, so there's not a rep um, count for this. You're doing as many as you can, and in the fourth minute, you guys are going to rest. Okay, if you have no equipment, you are just going to do your burpees naturally over a line. Okay, or you can just put your, your bag down on the floor, your water bottle, or whatever, and jump over that. And then yeah, fourth, fourth minute is rest, and you're gonna uh, you're gonna do that over and over for five rounds, twenty minutes. Okay. Then your body armor for tomorrow is three rounds of twenty weighted glute bridges. So you're gonna take your dumbbell or your barbell, okay, on your hips, glute bridge, and there you go, twenty reps. Of those. But if you have a very light dumbbell, try and put a, a heavier weight on your hips, okay? Because the glute bridge is an easy movement. Your glutes are very, very strong. So if you have a 5 or a 7 or a 10 um, kg dumbbell or um, kettlebell, the weight's going to be too light, alright? So I want you guys to put a, a solid weight on your hips for these uh, glute bridges. Then we'll be doing um, 
10 Bulgarian split squats. Okay, so your back leg goes on a platform, so a box or a step or, or a, a chair. All right, and also you can go weighted. All right, so grab your weights in your opposite hand, opposite leg. The reason why we do opposite is so that it slightly pulls you off center, so you need to use your core to get you on center. All right, back to to a square hips and there by that we're using our core as well right so down as far as you feel comfortable and up so we're doing 10 reps of that on the one and then 10 reps on the other okay and then we're finishing off with 20 bird dogs so a bird dog is hands and knees on the floor you're going to lift your opposite arm and opposite leg and squeeze your bum. Back down, squeeze your bum. All right, guys, I'm going to, uh, please try not let your hips go side to side for this movement, all right? So that is doing it without control and it's defeating the purpose of this movement. If you guys um, find this very easy, I want you guys to lift your knees off the floor and try it like this, all right? It's slightly more challenging but if you've got a strong core and strong glutes, it's a good challenge and you'll probably be able to do 10 reps per side. Okay, so we're doing three rounds of that. Weighted glute bridge, Bulgarian split squats, bird dogs, and then two minute rest between rounds. And that is your workout for the 26th of May.